Um, and then go find the peppermint extract. What's the pep one? It's little like bit. the little box and a little bottle that says peppermint extract. I think you're here. I'll get a little it. bottle. No. Well, you gotta look. Cherry can read. That's the sprinkles. What does peppermint start with? Turn it over. P. Yep. Is that it? Yes. <laughs> That's it. Bring it over. We yes. also need cream and we also need um, a little pot, uh, pan for the stove. Can what? you get the little pan out of the cabinet? Now get. Yeah, the little, the small little pan. This one? Yeah, that one. Bring that up. I'll get the cream. You don't need the lid? Nope, don't need the lid. Okay. I'll get the cream. Okay. I'll get the cream. The other one next to it with the cow on it. Uh, right next to it. It has a cow on it. Grab that. And we also need to get the big thing of cream down here. Oh, okay, there you go. Okay. It's cream. Right here. This goes right. Oh, the pan goes on the stove. Po? Okay. And then this pan. Charity, you go let Poe out. Okay. Ooh, hi. hi. I'm not in the There you are. Oh yeah. I'm <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get our cream started over here. Okay. I need to do two and a quarter cups. That's a weird sound. And the song let it start heating up. That in? Those are big chocolate chips. Oh, it's starting to boil, see? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Alright, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Mix it. I'm gonna Can I mix it? Okay. I'm not gonna mix it. Well, I'm gonna dump this over the chocolate. Can I put it somewhere? It's boiling hot. Whoa. They're melting already. Oh yeah. The milk is hot. The cream. That looks so satisfying for some reason. Oh. All right, look at this. What? Why Can I it? eat, Mom? Can you eat, Mom? Because it's already, because it's almost snapped. sounds terrible. I don't eat, eat you. Eat, Mom, no. Not eat you, eat food. Oh, do you want to eat this bowl of chocolate? No. no eat. You could just eat it like soup. Yes, I want to. <laughs> I do. This is our delicious chocolate soup recipe. Yes, and then mix it all up until it's all smooth. Voila. All right, this is one ounce, which is uh, two tablespoons. So we're gonna pour this whole thing in and pour in um, another tablespoon because we're doing a triple oh, batch. Nice. It's looking like a triple batch of truffles. That, is it going to? It's gonna be a triple batch of truffles, yeah. Ah! Uh -huh. Can I dump that in? I was pretending to be the triple rainbow guy. Can I dump that in? Um, he, how about you dump this one in and Renee, you can do the other tablespoon. All right, we're gonna dump it all in really carefully. We don't want to splash, this stuff is very potent. What does that mean? It means it'll flavor your hand like mint for days. Ready? Yeah. Dump it in really carefully. No, Cherry, we're not having those oranges right now. Those are for the orange truffles, remember? Oh yeah. Do we have any bananas? Yeah. I want a banana. Can I have a banana? You may. Where are they? I see them. Banana, banana. Here, I'll, I'll get one. No, I can't. I know how to get what those are. Thank you. Can you help me unpeel it? Here, I'll, I'll help finish you. this. Thank oh. you, Renee. All right. Be wise, a monkey. Looks like this is ready to throw into the fridge. It's got to get hard in the fridge before we can roll it. Remember? Yeah. 90 minutes is one hour and a half. Oh my goodness, how did you figure that out so fast? All right, we're putting this in the fridge. Good morning guys and welcome to day two of our truffle making extravaganza. We got started yesterday afternoon, pretty late in the afternoon, so I got most of it done in the evening. Um, but I just got two batches started and rolled into balls but not dipped or sprinkled yet so i have those in the freezer down there and i will get to those here pretty soon to dip those although i might try to get them all made and rolled before i do any dipping i haven't decided yet 
uh, but I have been working on the caramel, salted caramel flavor that we're doing special this year, and since it's a new flavor and a little bit different than the others, I've been working on trying to get a recipe perfected. <laughs> I've done, I think, four batches so far. Um, the first one was with a chocolate filling with just caramel extract and then salt on top, and that one was pretty good, but I wanted it to be a little more than that. Uh, I had visions of having like swirls of caramel in the middle with the chocolate, and so I did a batch like that, and it kind of turned out okay, uh, but it turned out that the bits of caramel kind of squeezed through the, <laughs> the chocolate coating afterwards, and so there's kind of like this goo that kind of oozed out a little bit, which isn't um, ideal. So uh, they tasted great. That was the good thing. And then, so I figured I would just go ahead and mix the caramel in to the filling instead of trying to have the ribbons and then you'd still get the great flavor, but um, you wouldn't have the oozing issue. And then I had the idea that maybe I could make the filling with white chocolate chips uh, mixed with the caramel. So it would be like a caramel color and it would be really creamy and then dip them in chocolate and sprinkle the salt on after that. So I am in the middle of that batch right now. I have the filling made and in the fridge uh, chilling and um, I'm gonna get that one portioned out and dipped and we'll see, we'll see how that works out. So I got my caramel extract and my hazelnut extract in the mail the other day and I made a small batch with the hazelnut extract and I was thoroughly unimpressed. They look really cute because of the pretty sprinkles that we picked out, but the flavor was just not there. When I first opened this up, I suspected it might be not so great because all it smelled like was uh, alcohol. I couldn't smell any hazelnut at all, And um, but I was like, all right, I'll give it a try anyway. I put in the amount of extract that I usually put in for the recipe. I couldn't taste any hazelnut, so I doubled the amount of extract I put in. I maybe could taste a little bit of hazelnut with double the amount, but I still wasn't sure if it was just in my imagination and I was just willing it to be a hazelnut flavor, but I am not impressed with this extract at all and I'm not gonna be using it. So I got back online and I found a hazelnut extract in this brand, which is the Olive Nation brand, which I've used before and really liked. And I actually looked for a hazelnut extract in this brand and I couldn't find one that was less than eight ounces, I think, and I didn't really want an eight ounce bottle of hazelnut extract. But I went back on Amazon and I clicked on that eight ounce um, bottle and there was a drop down menu where you could order a four ounce bottle for six dollars and some change. So I ordered that and that's supposed to be coming today. So I will do redo some hazelnut truffles and um, hopefully that extract will be better. This olive, the Olive Nation brand, I have never had an extract that I didn't like. Um, I've done uh, banana extract. The caramel flavor is really, really good. And then um, I've, I've used several different ones from them like strawberry and cherry. And like I said, banana is also really good. And I've done banana flavored truffles, banana chocolate truffles uh, in previous years. And they're always a favorite. Excuse me, what are you working on? Are you baking cookies this morning? Are you baking cookies? You need to help me make truffles, man. We got a lot of truffles to do. I'm getting going on the orange flavor truffles. And for those, let me think of how much cream I need. I'm doing a big triple batch, so I need 18 ounces of cream. I'm gonna get that heated. And then for orange flavor, we do orange extract plus orange zest. And they're so good.
So I have the orange flavor in the fridge chilling and it has to chill for quite some time before it's the right texture to scoop out onto the pan and then chill again and then roll. And I have my test batch in the freezer for the uh, caramel flavor and I'm gonna let that harden up before I try to dip it. I need to do the hazelnut flavor and I just checked my Amazon and it's out for delivery and it's noon right now and it's supposed to be delivered between 10.30 a.m. and 12.45. So I'm hoping it comes here really soon because I wanna make those next because the next one that I have to make after that, which is the, is that the last? I think that's the last flavor that I need to get started is um, the lemon. And with the lemon, I have to zest a bunch of lemons for that. And I just zested a bunch of orange for the orange flavor and that's a lot of work on your arms. It's a really good arm workout. And I wanted to wait a little bit before I, I did another round of zesting. So um, I'm hoping that hazelnut will come here pretty soon and I can get that going maybe then. At that point, I'll be ready to jump into doing the lemon truffles. And then once we have all those started, I will be ready to start dipping, I suppose. That's so exciting, but oh man, it takes so long, but it's totally worth it. A lot of Christmas truffle recipes call for like rolling in cocoa or some other kind of coating, uh, coconut and stuff like that but it really does take it to the next level when you coat it in chocolate and then put the sprinkles on. So it is definitely worth the extra effort. What did you want to say? I didn't want to say anything. Do you have something important to say? No. You could say Merry Christmas. Uh... You could say, these truffles are delicious. Make sure you try the recipe. <laughs> right? Yes. What's your favorite part of making truffles? The, like, Pouring the cream on the chocolate chips or- Sprinkling. Oh, sprinkling, yeah. And what's your favorite flavor, do you think? Lemon. Lemon truffles are your favorite. Yeah, that's a very good choice. They're so good. So good and addictive. It looks like Poey needs to get let in. You wanna let him in? Okay, make sure he wipes his feet because it's a rainy day. Wipe your feet, Po. Wipe your feet, Po. Good boy. Good boy. I decided to buck up and just get the zesting done. So I zested my lemons. And now I'm ready to work on the lemon truffle filling. We've officially made it through one entire half gallon of heavy whipping cream and I'm breaking into the second one. And that means we're making progress. Okay, good. I just heard that there's a package. It must be the hazelnut extract. Uh, look, don't let Poe run out. Po, go outside, Po. Somebody put Po outside so he doesn't attack the delivery driver. Uh, what is in that package? What is in this package? It's something very important that we need for our truffles. Oh. All right, let's see how this works. Can I see what? Uh, hazelnut extract. There it is. Let's see if this one smells a little better than the last one. Oh my goodness, that one smells so much better. Smell that. I don't like it. You don't like hazelnut smell? Yeah. I think you'll like it when it's mixed in with the chocolate. Smell again. I'll smell it. Don't like it. Okay, let, it. let Charity come up here and smell it. What do you think? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I bet you'll change your mind when it's mixed into a truffle. All right, Pally, you want to try it? Try, yes. or I mean, try smelling it. Nothing. Eat it. I don't really like it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we'll do a taste test when it's done and then we'll see what you guys think. You go ahead and stir it really gently until it's all the way smooth, okay? Okay. I mean, there might be some lumps, but do your best. Mom, I think it's smooth. <laughs> it's not smooth enough. There's still a bunch of lumpy bumps. Alright. Because there are still a bunch of lumpy bumps. No, I, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's not ready yet. Talia? It's a person. No, it's what kind of person? Oh, is it so satisfying? Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going like... to put in the zest and the extract. You can really gently stir it in. What do you think that? Oh, we got to put in the citric acid too. I almost forgot. Oh, you can't. That's, forget. The, that's the secret ingredient. 
It makes it all sour and delicious. Mom, mm -hmm. can I make, have a ton mixing? Oh, sure. Let's just get this extract down and then you can. All right, we need three tablespoons. It looks like... Oh. Really gently. We don't want to splash this. Yeah. All right, I need to remember how much citric acid we put in. It's a good thing we did a video tutorial of this a few years ago, a couple of years ago. Otherwise, I wouldn't remember the recipe. All right, Renee, you want to try this? Try yeah. stirring? Go ahead and stir okay. for a little bit. Okay. It's way in there. I'm making that That's on. It. Um, I tried to. Here, can I try to make an R for you? Um, thank you. Because I will mix the R and make it terrible. Okay. You'll mix the R. Now, do it like that. Boop, boop, boop. There's an R. Now she wants to mix it and make it terrible. All right. Now, mix it. Here, Trey, you want to put that in? Yes. Now, keep three. mixing. Um, after, All right. Now, can I have a turn? Let's pull up your sleeve so you don't get your sleeve in the... All right, mix, 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 Renee. Now, now can I have a Okay, turn? you have to lick this. Oh. No, I don't want to. <laughs> can I lick? Yeah, sure. She goes to ask. This is so satisfying. Can I uh, mix it now? Is it, it satisfying, Renee? Can Just I stir this? Can I mix it now? Okay. It does kind of taste good, though. Good sour? All right, Charity, go ahead and you have a turn mixing. Can I have a time looking? No sugar. Oh, let Renee try it. See what she thinks. I like it. You like the really, really sour? Here, mm -hmm. taste that part. Yeah. Wow, that's a so bad. <laughs> and then stir. Uh, I should know a heart. Meh, meh. That is not a oh, heart. Oh, it is a heart. I see it. I see yep, the heart I right do. there. It's beautiful. All right, now I'm going to mess it up, though. So sorry. Hey. My love is in the <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Huh? Okay. Like it. Now we mm. What do you think? It's good. As good as ever? Uh-huh. Oh good. Mm. Alright, Autumn, smell this and tell me what you think. I don't know. Hazel, but. Oh. But. I just don't know what hazelnut smells like, I guess. Okay, well, everybody, I thought you were gonna <laughs> think it smells good. I think it smells good. I mean, it's it's really strong because it it's a really concentrated flavor. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's in the chocolate, I think yeah, you're gonna it's like gonna it. It's gonna smell like chocolate. It's gonna smell like Nutella. Yeah. And maybe. I don't know. This that smells like Nutella. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> So you can taste this. Everyone get a little scoop. A little scoop, Renee. Good job. Yep, that looks pretty good. Alright, one at a right, one at a time here. Get off to it. Autumn, taste. I can't get this scoop. Do it scoop. So it's good? Talia. Now take your spoon away from the bowl. It's good. Better than the hazelnut smell? Yes. Okay. All right, Charity. Oh, Renee, you already ate yours. <laughs> I told you to wait one at a time, you stinker. Was it good? Yeah. Okay, Charity, what do you think? What is all over your face? What? Did you just color your face? No. I yes, colored. you did. I, col I colored. <laughs> you just colored your face blue. What do you think of the hazelnut flavor now? Delicious. Delicious. Renee, look at me. What do you think of the hazelnut flavor now? Delicious. And how many thumbs up do you all give the hazelnut chocolate Infinity. truffles? Infinity 110. One and a half? Infinity. Infinity 110. Infinity. Mm. One. Pretty good. That's all right. All right. Can and I then, have and no, get your spoon away. You already put your mouth on it. <laughs> 